Live. First Alert 4 starts now. A solemn procession for a St. Louis Metropolitan Police officer killed in the line of duty. Officer David Lee died this morning after being struck by a car on Interstate 70. We thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Justin Andrews. This is a tragic day for St. Louis police as men and women in blue mourn one of their own. Tonight, we have live team coverage. Alexis Zotos is standing by downtown at St. Louis Police Headquarters and Shoshana Stahl live at the North Patrol Division. Let's get downtown first, though, to Alexis, where she's learning new details on this deadly crash. Alexis. And Alexis, we know you'll have the latest. Thanks so much. Also, Alexis, as you know, St. Louis Police are inviting the public to share their condolences for Officer Lee. Our Shoshana Stahl picks up our live team coverage from there. She's at the North Patrol Division. Shoshana, what are you seeing there? Thoughts and prayers are there for Officer Lee. Thanks so much, Shoshana. You can find the latest and any new developments in the death of Officer Lee on the First Alert 4 News app and at firstalert4.com. We also have an update tonight on the injured Ferguson police officer, Travis Brown. You may remember a family spokesperson says he remains hospitalized in serious condition, but is showing some signs of improvement. Officer Brown suffered a brain injury during a protest in Ferguson last month. His family is asking for continued prayers during his recovery. Let's go live now to a look down in Farmington tonight. This is what we're looking at weather wise. Many of you obviously are taking a break probably from the rain right now, but more is indeed on the way. But when? First Alert Meteorologist Kristen Cornett is here to tell us. Hey, Kristen. This is Justin. All righty, Kristen. We know we need the rain. Thanks so much. The Missouri Supreme Court will hear our oral arguments tomorrow in the case of a Missouri inmate scheduled to be executed on Tuesday. Marcellus Williams is on death row for the murder of former St. Louis Post-Dispatch reporter Felicia Gale in 1998. St. Louis County Prosecutor Wesley Bell has pushed to vacate Williams' conviction because of a lack of evidence, attorneys for Williams have also filed a petition with the U.S. Supreme Court. Count on First Alert 4 for any new developments in this case. Residents will get their say this November on a plan to increase the sales tax in Kirkwood. Next on First Alert 4, why Kirkwood City officials say the tax hike is needed now. Stay with us. Prices on just about everything has gone up from gas to food, even housing, and that's all thanks to inflation. Now one St. Louis County community is asking residents to approve a tax increase in November. Officials say it's a reasonable price to pay for better roads. First Alert 4 is Alex Gall talking to people in Kirkwood about the proposal. Drive around. New information this evening about bird flu here in Missouri. A second health care worker now has symptoms after coming in contact with a bird flu patient. According to the CDC, the health care worker had mild respiratory symptoms but was not tested for bird flu because their symptoms resolved before the investigation began. Right now, it's unknown how the patient caught the bird flu. Officials have not revealed where in the state the patient lives. The whooping cough, a concern for doctors tonight as there have been more than 14,000 reported cases here in the U.S. so far. The numbers are rising and doctors say protection from the vaccine is waning. That 14,000 is nearly five times higher than the number of cases this same time last year. The FDA is now considering a new clinical trial to test the effectiveness of the whooping cough vaccine. Well, this morning's rainy weather forced all bike rides to be canceled for the Pedal the Calls fundraiser. It was to keep everyone safe, but the fundraising efforts, they obviously went on. Pedal the Calls raises money for research at Siteman Cancer Center and St. Louis Children's Hospital. Cancer doesn't take a break when it rains. It continues on, and uh, even though we can't ride, we have to still raise the dollars for the research that we know is going to impact uh, cancer and bring us to what our whole mission is, which is a world without cancer. Over the last 15 years, Pedal the Calls raised more than $45 million for cancer research right here in Missouri. We have a couple more hours to check out the Greater St. Louis Hispanic Festival in Soulard. This annual event showcases food, art, dance, and culture from across Latin America. The festival is open until about 8 o'clock tonight at 7th Street and Lafayette Avenue in Soulard. Admission is free. I hope it doesn't get rained out later on today. I'm not too worried. Okay, not good, too worried good. about that. But we got a lot of rain. We got a soaker. We got morning. a soaker, and we so needed that soaker. Mm. And we need another one. We could take some more, yeah. and I think we might get one. Let, Let me more. take you through the deal here. We've got a cold front. <laughs>
All right, Kristen, thanks. Well, the Cards wrap up their series against Cleveland, and the new college football rankings are out. We've got highlights and a whole lot more next. And Justin, we got a lot more coming up in Sports Sunday later tonight. Yeah, our eyes will be on it, too. Thanks so much, and thank you for joining us here at 530. 60 Minutes is next. I'm back at 10 o'clock. Until then, have a great night.